Hey guys, Blabberger here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. And I lost my audio on this on this uh, video originally, so given with the fact that it's a blind run, I just, I can just do the audio normally over it. It just wouldn't be the same. So I brought in somebody to help me out. What's up, everyone? It's Yusuf. Yep, this is Yuso, my uh, slave labor for uh, any Photoshop needs. And now audio support. <laughs> yes, this is actually the second time he's helped me, although the first time you guys will see it. So, in this level, um, I actually think this was the one that introduced the shield. Because it's got that sign there saying to use it. I don't know the official name of it, I'm just calling it Strawberry Shield because it's a pink jelly bean. Mm, sounds good to me. Look at all those jelly beans. Yeah, there's a pretty wide variety of them. You've only seen me play the, uh, the NES game, right? Yeah. That's yeah. a hard time. So there's a lot of differences between this and the NES game, although... This game is actually just a reimagining of the NES game. Uh, the biggest difference is that the NES game was just one long, seamless adventure. Whereas this is divided up into levels. And the blob is adorable. Yeah. Well, the blob was... Okay, no, it wasn't adorable in the original. It looked like a snowman. A late 70s snowman. <laughs> like something you'd seen Ski Free or something. Or Ghostbusters. <laughs> Ghostbusters. But, uh, yeah, um, part of what makes this, uh, actually better than the original is, uh, since it's level based, um, they can be a little more free flow with level design because they can pick and choose which jelly beans you have available in each level. Hmm. Whereas in the original game, you just had, you know, your jelly beans, and, I mean, they kind of picked and choose what you had by only having the lime jelly bean available in that bag at the end of the underground. But, I mean, it's not really the same. You know, in this one, they can make you do the, uh, the root beer rocket in one level and then take it away for another level. So those things explode at the, by touching the shield? Uh, they explode by touching anything. That and makes if, sense you're, <laughs> if you're not behind the shield, then they're gonna kill you. <laughs> those things remind me of Gish. A what? Gish, the little uh, black slime ball in his own game called Gish. I've never heard of it. Someone needs to do some googling. Oh, you die. Yeah, luckily there's infinite lives, and in the normal levels, there's checkpoints everywhere. Bonus levels don't have checkpoints, though. So, in those, well, in some of those, I had to employ a lot of editing. Oh, uh, that's cheating. You just cheated right there. What do you mean? You walked on spikes. You cheated death right there. I didn't walk on spikes. I yes, you did. jumped on the trampoline that was on spikes. Mm -hmm. But, uh... You may recall in the original game that treasures were uh, useless. What um, treasures are? I mean, they they kind of had a use in the original game because uh, you collect them and they give you your, your ammo for your beta blaster. Mm. But uh, in the sequel, the one on Game Boy, they were absolutely useless. But in this game, they uh, they actually unlocked the bonus levels. Oh, huh. well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Even though they're they're strewn about in the street, <laughs> I can't talk right. They're strewn about in the stages, very similar to the star coins in uh, 
the new Super Mario Bros. series. So not that hard to find, but some are really challenging? Yes. Hmm. Although I would say far more of them are actually really challenging compared to the way it is in uh, New Super Mario. But there are a share of them that are just like out in the open. Yeah. That can be too difficult. Like New Super Mario 2. That game was. Ooh. That, didn't, that game did good trying to hide things. I have mixed feelings about New Super Mario 2. <laughs> I don't. I should have felt like it. Well, I mean, yeah. it lived up to what it tried to be. You know, it tried to be the same old, you know, 2D platforming Mario. And that's what it is. But there's. I mean, I can see that it has a problem with the fact that they just lazily reused, you know, pretty much all the assets from the first two new Super Mario games. Mm -hmm. And added in a very disappointing gimmick. Which wouldn't have been as very disappointing if they hadn't hyped it up the way they did. Uh, I don't know. It just did not. I did not find myself liking it then, you know, than the first two ever, but it's just the same thing. I did enjoy having a raccoon Mario to play around with again. You had to hit the run in his final, uh, in 3D land. But, uh, I do think that they did a lot better job with vertical areas than New Super Mario we did. <laughs> yeah. And I guess this was technically the first handheld to have co op play. I still haven't played co op. If I ever if I ever do a let's play but I want to do a co op. So that'll be the only way I can play is Luigi. If there's a will, there's a way. Oh man, let's play in that game. That idea is not one that I really like. That means I'll have to get 9,999,999 coins again. <laughs> yeah. That, that'd be one heck of a YouTube project. Well, at least I've got that trick. Let's go! Yeah. Countless knights doing it. <laughs> Do what? All those countless knights doing that trick over and over again. It really didn't take that long once I started doing it, because I probably put more time into the main game than I realized. I mean, I clocked in at under 40 hours once I had the coins. Thanks. And, I don't know, I probably spent closer to 20 hours than, than I realized. I don't know, it felt like it only took... Six to nine hours, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. The blob reminds me of something. I just yeah. kept my finger on it. Blue? Yeah. No, he reminds me of a flurry from Super Mario 2. The little ice skating enemy. Oh yeah, I guess it. I guess it does kind of look like that. So, uh. Something that you may or may not be aware of about this game is that uh, it was made by WayForward, which is uh, my favorite company, or any oh. company, I mean. The ones that made Shantae. Ah. Oh. Then that makes sense. Yeah. It's a great game. I guess for the audience, I should say that at the time of re recording this audio here, um, I had actually already beaten the game and edited every other episode, so you guys are going to regularly get the rest of the series after this goes up, so that's good. Good for the end of Procrastination. Let's go! Procrastinators unite! Well, Procrastination for this series at least. <laughs> Still Dragon Quest V. Yeah, yeah, that's your world record Procrastination right there. I tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> that 
that is the let's play that will never end, apparently. What are we on now? Two years? Uh, we're working on it. Yeah, I started it last uh, November, I think. September? Somewhere. It was last fall. Mom! It was a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you started fighting it a month earlier than that. Hurry. Oh, yeah, I mean. Dragon Quest V was one of the games that I planned. Over here! Like, before I even started yeah. Final Fantasy XI. All that time. Just hit that. Well, I mean, I still haven't even gotten through the games that I planned yeah. to do from the beginning. Well, you finished one at least. I mean, I still got, uh... I still got four more... No, five more games that I planned... ...to do. And the only one that I've actually announced that I haven't started yet is uh, Dragon Quest VI. And it's been like a year, two years since, since the announcement. Did you just die? Yeah. <laughs> How? I, I, clipped, I clipped one of those uh, yeah. bombs. <laughs> I can't remember what the name it is. There's one little bonus thing in the very last world. That uh, shows you the names of all the enemies. Mm -hmm. But it goes by so fast that I couldn't really look at it. I do know that the, the birds that eat your jelly beans are called bean birds. Mm. Dude, you're like so hesitant right there. Well, yeah, I mean, I was trying to figure out if there's another way past it, like maybe get up on that upper ledge there to set a cannon up to make it a little easier to shoot past it, but if you're seeing me, I'm playing some editing here. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> until I finally got past it. Alright, so how many times did it actually take to do that? Oh, I left in all my deaths. I did only two? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have not yeah. cut out a single death in the entire thing. And there was actually one episode where I probably died about 30 or 40 times. I just turned it into a fail montage. <laughs> uh, that one's actually already up on YouTube now. It was, uh... I think I called it the Root Beer Rocket episode. <laughs> I think oh, it was a challenge. It was a challenge level, but there's no checkpoints. Where the entire yes. thing is flying on a Root Beer Rocket. Jeez. I'm not yeah. sure about the concept of this game. You're like, essentially... ...giving the blob jelly beans, increasing its chance for diabetes. I, I don't know. <laughs> what, are you trying to say the boy is an enabler? Yeah. He's enabling. And okay. we'll see 20, 20 years down the road, let's see if that boy pays for the, you know, the blob's medical expenses. I don't see that happening. Oh, come on. Throughout the entire game, he's probably fed maybe two or three bags worth of jelly beans. That's a lot for the little blob. Look at that little blob. Well, he's still little. I mean... No. I mean, it's not like his cholesterol's gone up like when Alan was screaming in that <laughs> Animal Crossing stream. And that was my cholesterol that went up. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a map or what's going on there? Yeah, that was a concept art of the uh, Fort World hub. Hmm. Fourth World is weird in a way that I just realized I can't explain yet because of spoiler's sake. <laughs> but it's Third World. Is that a frog? Uh, basically. I don't remember okay. what his name is, but uh... The way you're generally going to kill those throughout the game is you turn the blob into a coconut, you roll them in front of them, the frog eats them, and then you call them and the blob explodes. That is terrible. Oh my gosh. There are so well, many things wrong with this game. 
Well, throughout the entire game, I've been dropping rocks and stuff on those yeah. black things. Oh, well, they're black things. They are. They're they're slimes, okay? They're blobs. They have names. They're evil blobs, and I can't remember their names. And I like how that wipeout's just so happy skipping across spikes like it's nothing. Oh, oh my gosh! That was too close. Yeah, spikes don't affect the blob. Stop failing! Stop failing here! Yeah, I think at this point in the game I hadn't really figured out that you had to be at the very top of the ladder in order to jump. <laughs> Otherwise you'd just fall off. Much like Mega Man or whatever. Oh. And good. Banana anvil. That's one of the flavors that they changed. Uh, there's very few flavors, at least of the ones that I actually know are the official names, that uh, they actually changed the function of it that was established in a previous game. And those are the uh, banana anvil, I know that they, they changed. Banana used to be a monkey wrench in the Game Boy game. Oh. And the mint was well, like an ice ability in the Game Boy game, and now it turns them into a double. Oh. You know, double mint. Yeah, yes, I, I got the reference. <laughs> Ready? But, yeah, a lot of the others are, are the same as they were in previous games, like Tangerine, Trampoline, and Apple Deck. So you're giving, you're gonna give that a jelly bit there, and it's gonna get really fat. It's big legs. You just got really fat and heavy. You turned to Penville. Mm. Now waste half a ton. Congrats. Good job. Let's go. I actually tried tweeting and wait for it to see if I could find out the uh, official names of the other flavors, but they never responded. Um, maybe it's Tad Panda. Here's the, Can you the climb on the little... Oh. No, that's the oh. background. But yeah, here's the evil clone. Which does the exact opposite of everything I do. Huh. Does, let's get us cat ears. Gotta go! It's creepy. Hey! <laughs> Except it doesn't die on spikes. Nope. There's your differences. All those blobs and cages that I'm rescuing. Mm. It doesn't serve any purpose. Huh. So I you actually just... looked it up. Mm -hmm. I actually looked it up after I beat the game. And, uh... Yeah, it does do something. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, that was just funny to go on. Yeah, I was too busy watching the clone act. But uh, it does do something to rescue the blobs, but it's it's a very, very minor aesthetic detail. <laughs> but I can't say what it is, because of spoilers. So you can't just skip them? Yeah, you can skip them. It doesn't make a difference at all as far as plot or anything like that. <laughs> I just don't want to, you know, spoil the ending, or whatever. Uh, this part looks incredibly annoying. Actually, it wasn't hey, too bad, yeah. since you have the pit. Still looks tedious. Oh, it's tedious. There's a lot of places in this game that are actually pretty tedious. This way. Uh, just a little bit more to the right, that's all. Yeah. This, way. this game probably is the best choice for somebody like me with ADHD, because <laughs> I don't do a good job paying attention to my surroundings. <laughs> How did you just die? The what happened? Spikes fell on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that is a big middle finger right there. Yeah, but you can easily get past spikes just by throwing a belly past them. The blob will go run under them and then fall. Oh, I see you now, okay. 
Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, what? It's like a 2D version of Portal here. <laughs> Thankfully, this game lets you aim your jelly beans. Unlike the first two games. Are there like any challenge levels in this thing? Like, for like limited oh, yeah. time, attempts to use jelly beans? Oh, uh, there's none with limited time. Or limited jelly beans, but I mean, they got challenge levels, they're just really hard. Hurry! You know, a lot of the time they're really hard because they have no checkpoints. Yeah. So, so it's like, you know, if you get through something by dumb luck, you better hope that you get through the entire stage by dumb luck, or else you're gonna have to prove that it wasn't dumb luck after all. Sounds like a game I can't handle. <laughs> I mean, it's really not that hard. Uh, and challenge stages aren't required for any of the plot. All they do is unlock the you know, little bonus things like artwork and stuff. Mostly artwork. It was, it, it's kind of like doing the. Uh, like all the extra stuff you can do in Sonic Generations. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got you. Thanks for turning it. That makes sense. <laughs> right. Ready? Yeah. It's like... There's no reason that you have to do all of the, uh... All the, uh, the, the challenges in Sonic oh Generations. God. You just can. Yeah. yeah. That is a jerk. Ready? Yeah, that's one thing that you, I've found that you have to employ quite frequently is to uh, throw a jelly bean at a bomb to get rid of one of the bean birds. Wow, what a jerk. <laughs> that's exactly what I said about the bird. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, until, uh, until I learned that they were called bean birds, I just called them jerk birds. <laughs> I keep freaking eating my jelly beans. It's like you hope that they develop diabetes, but they never do. <laughs> That's probably a terrible thing to say. It, it is. It's like, or you could be mean, like it's throwing jelly beans to like a, a put a abysmal tablet instead. <laughs> <laughs> What, so they can overdose on medicine? Is that any better? Oh, um, birds can't poop. They'll just explode. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, why is that put the business? I'm an alka I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So what, it's kind of like, uh... It's kind of like the, the rumor... Mentos and... Diet Coke or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it's a thing, but... Although that actually... It actually doesn't work in style. <laughs> It does work normally, like if you just drop Mento straight into the Diet Coke. But I guess once you put it in your mouth it goes into contact with saliva, it loses that that rapid expansion property. Okay. How are you supposed to do this here? I think I'm about to figure it out here. Okay. Push a button. Okay. See, for the longest time I didn't even see that that bar blocking the dude. I was like, why is he going up there? What 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 the <laughs> Nice one Josh. Oh yeah. that was that was priceless. Yeah. That's happened a few times throughout the let's play. <laughs> Okay. So that one's over there stepping on that one and huh. now I'm going to employ a trick that uh Oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say I, I was gonna employ a trick that you can use with both the evil clones and the uh double mint. Mm -hmm. 
where you jump and then change your direction mid-air at the last second to make your clone move, but you stay in the same place. Huh. This way! <laughs> Hurry! Hurry! No. I don't know why I didn't just use a pit here. <laughs> don't try the shield, you should use the shield. Oh wait, what the um, heck? No, I don't have a shield in this level. Huh. Oh, I think. I'm not sure what that red- No, that, yeah, I don't have a shield, that red was yeah. the, the punch hole. Yeah, just... if, if an enemy is sparkly, that means that uh, defeating them will make one of the treasures appear. Oh, okay. That makes sense. What? That's just the... That's the... That's the pair parachute. Oh, okay. Parachute. <laughs> yeah, if you love puns, you probably love this game. I don't love puns, I hate them. <laughs> I know some people that do love puns. My cousin. Man, that dude was driving me nuts this weekend. Everything he says is near about. It's a pun. Oh, boy. Like, let's see. Oh yeah, every time I talked about the mini mushroom when we were playing New Super Mario U, mm -hmm. he would say, "How many?" And I would just be like, "Ah." I could not. I could not fist palm loud enough for that. Well, I, I'm good. I'd be like, I need to get mini for this. And he'd be like, how many? Oh god, I like Oh, definitely. Yeah. Right. And like, everything he says is like that. Alright, I feel sorry. You must have had a really long weekend. Oh well, no, it was a lot of fun, because we played, we 100%ed New Super Mario U, and we played a lot of Nintendo Land. I'll say, since we're on the Nintendo Land, has your Wii U frozen from Nintendo Land yet? Yes, a lot. Ah. But, so uh... So it is that game. Well, no, it's something with the Meatverse, and Nintendo's gonna patch it later this week. Mm. But, but anyways... Let's go do it for this episode. This has been Let's Play Boy News Bob. I'm Blamager. I'm Egypt. And I'll see you later. And hug a blob. <laughs>